Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father of mercy, who gave us Saint Damien, a shining witness of love for the poorest and most abandoned, grant that by his intercession, a faithful witness as faithful witnesses. Of the heart of your Son, Jesus, we too may be servants of the most needy and rejected. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit, and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All the nations praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All the nations praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah. 
was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you and you did not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to you, but you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Our gospel today is our gospel from this past Sunday, where we see that way of the protection of the shepherd. But it's also the realization that of the Trinity, of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit being one, though three persons. That we're able to see how the Father and the Son are one, and how the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one. That they have a singular mission in their unity, that it is to bring us to that place of salvation, that our Lord has done signs and even said plainly, as plainly as they wanted him to, that he is the Son of God, that he is the Messiah that they're looking for, but yet they do not want to believe. For us, that belief is something that is difficult to find in our lives. But we continue to pray for that strong belief, to say, Lord, I'm unbelieving, help my unbelief when things get difficult, especially as we look to the mysteries of our redemption, the mysteries that we see in our life. But the Lord reminds us once again that we can rely on God, that we continue to rely on God for what we need, that we are able to say, Lord, let me be in your hand protected. Let me be in your hand lifted up. Let me be in your hand so that I might continue to follow you here on earth and to eternity. My dear sisters and brothers, empowered by God's grace, let us offer prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For those who carry the gospel to distant lands, we pray to the Lord. For those who welcome the good news, we pray to the Lord. For those who announce God's favor to the poor and liberty to captives, we pray to the Lord. For those persecuted for their faith, we pray to the Lord. For those who remain faithful in illness and adversity, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for Ron Grislak and for peace in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. For those who have preached the gospel in generations past, we pray to the Lord. And for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the burden of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily lives. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, generosity, self control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The end of abortion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the selling of souls and for the broken spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For these prayers and prayers and songs of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. 
Send us forth, God of mission, to proclaim what you have done for us. In Christ Jesus, our Savior, may we be witnesses to the ends of the earth, for Christ lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless us, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed God. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all our holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover hath been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The Lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts seem to gather the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. To have with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marriage be co heirs to eternal life. May I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but by the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live in me forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other this sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only to say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Let us pray at Hail Mary for the needs of our church, for our world, especially those in Russia and Ukraine, and for our community. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray a prayer to our mother. Mother of all mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified, say the Holy Mother. Imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confidently, I trust you. I know that you can, by your own power of intercession, help me in my need. In you, I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in me, I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my own trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of Mothers. Amen. Mother, pray for us. 